the International Federation of Medical Students Associations welcomes the Strategy and Action Plan for Refugee and Migrant Health in the WHO European region and encourages its urgent implementation with strong participation from refugees and migrants. However, we worry that although the strategy states the urgent need to address the over 46,000 deaths of migrants in transit, it does not propose a clear way to do so. We therefore strongly urge Member States and the Regional Office to specifically consider the health needs of migrants and refugees still en route. Journeys to and within Europe are often dangerous and those in transit are exposed to numerous health hazards, including violence and abuse. To secure the health of those in transit, safe and regular migration routes must be established and access to health services ensured. Specific attention should be given to the needs of those especially vulnerable or marginalized. In addition, we feel implementation should take into account the issue of detention. Due to the mounting evidence of its inherent health burdens, the practice of detention must be avoided whenever it's possible. And clear limits must be set to the duration spent in detention. Furthermore, it is important to ensure access to healthcare and adequate living conditions for those in detention. Finally, as students, we, we would like to stress the importance of access to education as one of the social determinants of health. By providing migrants, and particularly refugees, the opportunity of education, we allow them to take control of their new lives, which will also reflect in their health. Moreover, by integrating refugees into the education system, we help break the damaging stereotype of migrants and refugees as mere burdens on society. This is crucial for creating the kind of strong societal will that is needed to enact meaningful change on refugee and migrant health. In short, it is time the true value of refugees and migrants is reflected in our actions. Thank you for your attention.